And over to Ethiopia, Haile Gabriel Selassie in his heydays dominated the track like a colossus, winning two Olympic gold medals and four world titles in the 10,000 meters race. However, since his retirement, the track legend is now focusing on nurturing the upcoming athlete in his country, Ethiopia, besides running his vast business empire. Our very own Zita Jimoi spent time with him in Addis Ababa and filed these reports. At his prime, Haile Gebrez last lit up the track like no other. His determination and greed, winning his country Ethiopian several honors. In a 25 years career that saw him win two Olympic gold medals, eight world championship victories and several world titles. Now retired in a 25 years career, he recounted with nostalgia the heroic and the fierce competition he faced from Kenyan athletes. We Ethiopians and Kenyans have to know something. Something what? Uh, imagine, can you see uh, uh, Kenyans are stronger without the Ethiopian uh, athlete? Or can you see uh, Ethiopian are strongest without Kenyan athlete? We need each other. Uh, my strength always comes you know, from Kenyan. <laughs> because uh, Paul did everything. Almost you won and not that race. But beyond the conquest he had on the track, Haile is also a ride businessman with vast interest in real estate, hospitality, and sport related enterprises. Ventures he took after calling time on his athletic career. The transition, he says, wasn't easy. Uh, when you switch to business, uh, you have to deal with uh, sometimes a thousand people. For example, in my company, over, over 4,000 people working. You are not anymore uh, working with the four people. And instead of four people, you're working, you know, with uh, 4,000 people in athletics. You know, most of my life, uh, running in the morning, taking a rest, and uh, start again in the afternoon, and uh, uh, not so many noise, <laughs> and unless, you know, to ju and then in the rest time uh, in the stadium. Haile's passion is noticeable, more so when he talks about his experiences in the hospitality sector. There is you no know, saying, you know, about uh, business. Uh, if you solve, I mean, the more man, I mean, the more problem you solve, the more business you make. The more business you make, the more money you make. In the other hand, I can say, you know, thanks to God, I try to handle. But life by itself, it, it I mean, it taught me a lot. Uh, I learn from experience, not from. Uh, I didn't, I didn't go uh, university or college. I finished only high school and, uh, and running. But uh, thanks to running, running teach me a lot. Uh, traveling around the world, you can learn from there. And uh, always when you're back home, you wish you know, just to have the same thing what you see over there. The key to this success, he says, is impeccable discipline. No more uh, running discipline, now business discipline. Mm -hmm. Because no one uh, accepts you to sleep in the daytime, to take rest. Driven by the desire to groom the wolf be world beaters, Haile founded the Great Ethiopian Run, one of the African biggest road races that, for the last 23 years, continues to unearth talent. For, for my people here in Ethiopia, Congratulations, you know, just to, to take part in this, this wonderful race. And uh, for the Kenyans, I know, we Ethiopian and Kenya, how close to each other. Next time, if you have an opportunity, come here and enjoy the race. When you come here, you don't know who's going to run, I mean win. His ties with Kenya is equally strong and he raises concern over the poor state of Iten, the spiritual home of Kenyan's athletics, but which is now in neglect. Now, after three, four years, I think three years, now we tend to become busy. Many cars, many motorbikes, it's a big city, yeah? But now we tend to uh, getting bigger and bigger and uh, houses and his successes and humility has earned him respect across the world. And Tim Hutchings, one of the greatest athletics TV commentator, is one of them. His dream is to inspire the next generation of the world beaters from the African continent. Reporting for Sporty Monday, Citizen TV, I am Zita Jimoy.
That's Zita Jimoy there, interacting with Haile in Addis Ababa. Uh, Shitera, maybe I begin with you. Quick thoughts on Haile and what he's doing in his home country. I think these are um, the legends that uh, we also need to be uh, seeing on the forefront in Kenya. Uh, you saw uh, he mentioned uh, Paul Tergat uh, in their heydays when they used to compete. Stiff, uh, stiff rival. Very com uh, stiff competition. Mm. And you see, uh, one thing I like about Haile is that he has maintained it. Uh, he's nurturing talent. He's uh, the face of um, uh, Ethiopian athletics. I think we should come up with uh, such a brand uh, talking to uh, the CS uh, Sports Ababu Namwamba. Let us uh, support, uh, because when Haile talks to those kids you've seen there, they will take it with some seriousness. So I think uh, in Kenya we have lost it somewhere that after uh, you are done with your career, you vanish. Yeah. Where are the Jelimos? Yes. Where are the Jepkos gays? Giving back. Yeah, where are the uh, Bungays? Mm -hmm. Uh, Paul Tergat, we really need to see you on the phone. Let me be fair. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Tergat is doing the, the Sawyer Awards. You know, it's his foundation. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, the last time uh, Haile came here, yeah. I covered him at the KCC mm -hmm. as a guest invited by Paul. Uh, Janet is a coach and now. Paul also leads NOC. Uh, no, leads yeah. NOC, of course. Janet now is a coach, uh, doing so well with uh, our young uh, youths. And of course, now talking about. Um, uh, talking about also, uh, you mentioned the last athlete, and also she's, uh, they're doing well. But one thing that is real sure, like you mentioned, capitalizing on the brand. You see, we are every time producing athletes who are doing wonders in the world. I hope when Eliud Kipchoge, for example, retires, 10 years later, he should you, take it up. Yeah. He should be able to be seen as still as a big brand, attracting the attention we are seeing, uh, highly being at, able to attract in Ethiopia. You understand? Because really, after all those world records, after all those um, uh, major marathon titles, mm. you can't just be forgotten after a short time, mm. apart from the other things they are doing. One thing I also need to say is that uh, this is an open book for all our leads to, to, to read mm. when it comes to investment. Mm. You heard him saying that uh, he was also lucky to go, in terms of yeah. education, to mm. go far. Mm -hmm. But you look at the mega projects he's doing in Ethiopia, private uh, investments, uh, quite something to admire. And I think uh, that's why we've been talking about educating our well, youth yes, to make sure yes. that uh, we do not have these kind of stories of uh, maybe after 10 years, 20 years, we are crying about a hero mm. who was once shining in the... And now living in living. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I think Haile is a, is a book to read. Uh, one minute, Becky. Nafikiri, uh, I'm going to talk about the project that I'm going to do in Ethiopia is to boost the uchumi of the people who are going to be able to do the work of the people. So, Nafikiri, the most important thing is to say that Angalau, these brands are going to be able to do the work of the people who are going to be able to do the work of the people who are going to be able to Uh, tuone ya kwamba angalau pia kupitia kwa mashirika angalau wana mm -hmm. anaungwa mkono na labda kama kuna hizi asasi za kuwa balozi wa kuweza kuvumisha sifa za taifa inaweza kusaidia sana lakini kwa upande wa wa, wa haile nafikiri amejaribu sana kuweza kudumisha ile brand <laughs> Zita wants okay. to go you are there for four yes. days maybe in 30 seconds um, uh, vital lessons 30 maybe seconds yeah. okay i'll try um one thing uh, the event was for two days the first day was about the kids event like uh, just giving the morale and seeing what being a champion is and then something that he, I, he talked about uh, one thing that um, he said that in the Europe they have I think that we have the Diamond League why don't you make an African African Champion League here in Africa and that is something that he's looking forward to even Kipke, Kipke you know classics coming together and doing something big with even him the, uh, the great uh, Ethiopian run like he just wants to do something big for Africa and then um, he talked about the upcoming uh, the upcoming uh, um, athletes where he said but they need to think of investing they need to think of investing their money every saving and investing their money because as a runner it's just it's just something that comes once it doesn't come like two or three, uh, three things and then something he talked about for the something the last thing let me talk about he talked about doping and he said they now people need to separate to separate between the science and what technology mm. because uh, that is what is really affecting us in east african as a athletes that is something of that course. can highlight and of then course. the eternal thing i know you'll talk about it of course fantastic stuff from ethiopia of course we also hail highly king